Hey guys, the Triceps here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my Faith Strength build, which is pretty much has a, I would say, 80% win rate. So stick around to the end of the video to find out actually how it well performs in this case. As always, I'm going to be rating this video from 1 out of 10 at the end of the video. So if you want to see the rating as well, stick around to the end. But before we get into the build specifically, uh, please like, subscribe to help me grow my YouTube channel. Also leave a comment down below to let me know if you have any ideas on certain builds which you would like me to make. As well, if you like these kinds of videos, consider checking out my Twitch channel so you can actually watch me do full fights of this because I usually do these videos in like uh, a three hour stream but yeah without further ado I'm just going to go into the build explanation okay first of all let me show you the stats uh, as a strength faith build your main objective here is to get at least above 30 strength and uh, above s at least 60 faith so you can actually deal as much damage as possible I also uh, have pretty high vigor in this case. I have 55 with uh, the Talisman Radagons. I have 60 because I really like my survivability. If you can or if you want, you can actually lower the vigor a little bit and put more into strength and fate to actually get a little bit more of a damage output. For the gear we have, I'm using the Heavy Great Stars because I find it's actually really, really good and I'm going to explain the, the strategy with this build just a little bit later on. The God Slayer Seal because I find the scaling is the best. I'm using the Omen, Omen, Omen Smirk Mask because it gives us two points into strength, which is just a little extra bonus. And the rest of the armor is here just so we can actually get a really solid poise for our weight. We're using the two fingers able to raise our faith to actually get it to 60. Earth Tree Favor plus 2, uh, Crimson Ember Medallion to boost our health, and the Radagon Sword Seal because we're doing a hybrid build and we need more stats. Uh, you also always pack fan, and fan Daggers so you can burst people's bubbles when they actually activate it because of the Flask of Wondrous Physics. And as long as we are on the Flask of Wondrous Physics, uh, these things you're really going to need, like the Crimson Bubble tier, it's pretty much like second chance from Demon Souls, which is really, really strong. And the uh, Faith Not Crystal tier uh, temporarily boosts Faith by 10 points. And these two buffs last like 3 minutes, so you don't have to worry about running them out. It's pretty much lasts you for the whole duration of the duel. The tactic we are using, or the strategy we are using with this build, is pretty much use Bestial Sling. Uh, like, uh, to burst people down or to whittle people down little by little. Usually people at that point get desperate and they start uh, trying to come into your range. So you just pass out Storm Stomp and hit them with your hammer. Uh, the main skill is Bishop Sling, as I said before. After Bishop Sling, we have Beast Claw. And it's here pretty much just so you can mix things up. So, you, let's say we fight a little bit with a uh, Bishop Sling. They get used to the timing, so you throw out a Beast Claw. Free aim it and hit them. Uh, it actually hits people very often, believe it or not. Lightning Spear is here just for if you have some people who like to spam dragon attacks or mage attacks, you can just catch them with a distance. Uh, my favorite spell in the game, probably. Plus, it do sucks. Can't go wrong with this spell. It's probably the fastest hitting spell in the game. And perfect for uh, destroying people who actually come close to you, which is kind of actually funny. You're gonna see me do it quite a lot in this game. Electrify armament so we can buff our weapon, actually. I'm not gonna show you the buff, that's pretty much self explanatory. And we have two self buffs here, as well as Catch Flame. Catch Flame is just here if you want to be a little bit spicy and burn it to the ground. Uh, but Catch Flame is actually really good for roll catching, but uh, I did not use it too much. But you can use it if you want, it's a really, really good spell. But let's go with the buffs. Barrier of Gold, we have, once we actually encounter a mage, we just pop Barrier of Gold and they can do absolutely nothing against you. But if you're not fighting a mage, we're gonna use me Flame Grant Me Strength. This is gonna buff you all of your physical attacks. Which is really, really good because Bestial Sling and Beast Claw are actually buffed by physical attacks. Also, uh, it's gonna buff your Catch Flame if you actually use it. But yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna pop on right into duels and let's see how this does. So, the way I was saying before, you should really start off your duels is just drink your flask, activate flame, grant me strength, buff your great stars, put on Beachel Sling, and just wait for the opponent to come into your world. Hey, my boy, how's it going today? Hey! Let's go! Shall we go fight? Look at that damage. Oh my god, he actually uses Frost, Horfrost Frost Stomp. <laughs> Did not see that spell in a whole while. And also, Vicious Link has actually quite of a weird range. Oh, he's gonna hide behind the shield constantly. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, Stomp Stomp as well. Nice. But you can see he's pretty low as well. That actually roll catches pretty well, though not always, unfortunately. 
that does a lot of damage. Let's try to plus two sex this guy. Haha, <laughs> I didn't hit him actually. He was just a bit out of range. Let's see if he knows how to punish it. Ha, <laughs> he does not know how to punish it. <laughs> Good fight with the plus two sex. Good fight, my boy. That's how you use this build. Measure of preventing people to come in close to you. Block my weapon. Let's go, my boy. Let's go, my boy. Shall we fight? Oh, yes, the. I forget what the name is. Oh! Oh, that was a mistake. Storm Stomp. Time for Placidus sucks. <laughs> oh my god, look at this damage. Jesus Christ. Placidus sucks did kill him, but he almost killed me with the fucking attack. What the hell? That's what I was saying. Some of some of these weapons are really, really balanced. Like he's probably rocking a complete dex build with the katana. Like that's what I'm guessing. Oh, I summoned the same guy again. Not good. This time we're gonna be close. Uh, actually, let him have distance. <laughs> oh, I rolled the bleed. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. Oh, bloodhounds, of course. Of course he's gonna have bloodhounds, why wouldn't he? Good fight. That's why you use Lightning Spear. That is why you use Lightning Spear. This is the perfect example of a Lightning Spear. If people just go away from you and cast long spells, you just pump them with a the Lightning Spear. GG will play. Never gonna summon this guy again. Electrify Armament. Buff. Drink. Uh, let's go. Should fight? Ready? Let's go. Oh, Bloodhounds. Not much you can do against Bloodhounds, really. Ah, I've actually drawn the way instead of forward. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. That didn't hit you? I'm amazed. I know how to roll that. That's perfect timing. Oh my god. Oh, good fight. Oh, Molly. He has Bloodhound, so he's pretty much invincible here. Good fight. <laughs> That's why Fen Knives are so good. They're kind of invisible, so it's actually really hard to see them coming. And they're a really good finisher when it comes to that kind of situation. Good fight. He's using that helmet, so you know he's a mage. We're just gonna pop Bader of Gold, and he's not gonna do any damage to us at all. He's using the Moon Veil as well. Let's go, let's go. Are you ready? Oh, Stars of Ruin as well. And the Moon <laughs> Oh, Stars of Ruin again! <laughs> and a Moon Veil! What else could it be? See how much, how little damage he does actually? If he doesn't heal, which I hopefully he's not going to, he's lagging also like crazy. And he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> And that's how you deal with mages. Like, that is the best example how to deal with mages. If you have a faith build, put on Barrier of Gold. They can't do anything to you. And you're gonna see a lot of mages, so it's always a good thing to have in your slot. Oh, it's a Bloodhound step. It's gonna be a Bloodhound step. 100%, guys. Ready? Let's go. Right. Okay. Let's see if it's a Bloodhound. Oh, it's not a Bloodhounds, I'm actually amazed. 
Ooh, it has huge range as well, which is good. Ah, uh, you're not actually a good... Ah, I want to hit him with a vicious sling. <laughs> a good fight. Oh my god. If you like this kind of a build, please leave a like and subscribe uh, to help me grow the channel. Also, if you like my content, please go check out my Twitch channel. I'm doing, every Friday I'm doing a PvP build, new PvP build right now. So you can always enjoy that. And without further ado, thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.